Let's imagine that if you and a friend had found fossils several centuries ago and had had the great insight more than other learned individuals at that time to know that these were the remains of living things and not generated spontaneously from water or mud, etc. What types of animals might you have thought they once were? Well, individuals in centuries past throughout the world certainly still had references to animals which had existed in whatever mythological uh, stories had been passed down for generations. And so fossils of the ape Gigantopithecus in China were attributed to dragons. And the uh, Paraguayans had a belief in the owl owl, a giant sloth-like animal, which perhaps is a cultural recollection of the giant ground sloths that the first Native Americans in South America encountered. Many Europeans would interpret fossils in much the same light, uh, referring to them as being dragons or unicorns, etc. This was strengthened by theologians who, in the Bible, or at least in the translations of the Bible that they were using, found references to dragons. And so St. Augustine here is clearly referring uh, to dragons uh, which uh, were mentioned at several uh, passages in the Bible. Even that the translation of the Bible, most common in Christendom in the Middle Ages, used references to unicorns, more so in the King James than in the Vulgate. Many argued that unicorns must exist because they were referenced in the Bible and attributed fossil bones to unicorns. The Bible vaguely refers to an animal known as the behemoth, and mammoth fossils were often attributed to this creature, the behemoth. In fact, it is likely that the word mammoth is a Russian derivation of the term behemoth. Many of those who found large fossil bones attributed them to giant humans and often referenced passages in the Bible, such as the Genesis passages preceding the Noachian flood, and say that these are the giants referenced in the Bible. The Puritan thinker in the Americas, Cotton Mather, used the same argument and claimed that the elephant fossils of mastodons, which were discovered in the New World, were actually the remains of these Genesis giant humans. One fossil of a giant salamander was mistakenly identified as a human and named Homo diluvii testis, man the witness of the flood. Centuries ago, people had beliefs in animals ranging from dragons to unicorns to giants because of their pagan mythology or uh, theological references and when they found fossils, they often interpreted these fossils in light of these beliefs in mythical animals.